Welcome to today's iNews Digest. This is Tuesday, November 7th, 2017. My name is Paul Gordon, and I am your host on the iNews Digest. In the iNews Digest today, we have Apple Ditches Taxes, Air Force Gun Control Fair, Fail Syria's Strong Women, Chelsea Takes a Gun Piss, and more. And our top story is Paradise Papers reveal Apple has offshore tax haven. So Apple's Irish tax loophole fell apart in 2013. So it went out in search of a new tax haven and it found one in Jersey. Not that Jersey, folks. The Jersey and Channel Islands off the coast of England. The fact that Apple is avoiding paying taxes is not all that big of an issue to me, nor I don't believe it should be for you as well. Unless, of course, you think theft and extortion is a good thing. The fact that so many entities, be they individuals or companies that have the resources to effectively avoid paying taxes should show you that no matter what many say who support the taxation model of funding for ostensibly human governance institutions like the state, taxation is recognized at our core, as being an unjust form of funding. Texas church shooter got guns because government failed to block him. So the Air Force, maybe, maybe... Maybe they have some culpability here. Despite having laws already in place that would have prevented a Texas church shooter from purchasing guns, the government apparently failed to actually follow their own rules. The Air Force was really the critical fail. Uh, they, they actually failed to report the shooter's criminal record and the nature of his military discharge to the FBI. Had they done that, this shooter would never have been able to legally purchase a gun in the first place. Go on to our next story here, which is Arab and Kurdish women find common cause against ISIS. So this story is about Arab women who are starting to work with Kurdish women in the fight against ISIS. They've joined up and they've actually taken up arms to fight ISIS. And the moves by Arab women in Syria to pick up arms is also challenging some of the customs in the communities that they come from where women have a far more subservient role to men than what Kurdish women have to face in their communities. Private insurance companies could replace government first responders. So, uh, and, and all of this, as you can see, if you're watching the video version of this, you can see that uh, this is all on iState.tv, so you can actually read the uh, excerpts from the articles that we highlight here. The recent California fires generated responses by private insurance companies trying to get ahead of the fires before they did damage to the homes of the companies that they're insuring. The insurance companies sent in private fire departments to save their homes. So two articles recently highlight this potential. One article is by the Daily Bell, and that deals philosophically about this emerging reality, a reality that could ex be extended far beyond what it currently is, and that's what makes this the I thought of the day. And the other article is from the Wall Street, Jur Street Journal that details examples of insurance companies using private firefighters to protect properties that they insure. Chelsea Handler blames GOP for deaths in church shooting or Chelsea takes a gun piss. And yes, the image that we use is from a video that shows Chelsea Handler being urinated on. I, yes, I did that. I did that and I don't apologize for it. And if you want to, uh, go to YouTube and YouTube Chelsea Handler P, and uh, you'll find the video for yourself. It's quite quite entertaining, such as it is, especially because of who it is. Chelsea Handler, the far-left comedian who regularly seems to endorse language police and other forms of morality control by the state 
at least the state that she approves of, is showing her classiness and unwillingness to have any appeal beyond the most extreme, hateful, left-wing fringe. Not more than three hours after the world learned of the tragic shooting in Texas, Handler took it upon herself to literally accuse the whole Republican Party, and by extension their supporters, of committing the act of violence themselves. In the Twitterverse, well, the pushback was fierce. The tone deafness of Handler was profound, and it may explain in part why her talk show was canceled on Netflix. And the tweet said, Innocent people go to church on Sunday to honor their God, and while doing so, get shot and killed. In killed. That's what she wrote. Get shot in killed. What country? America. Why? Republicans. Good job, Chelsea. Really? Really, really good job. Windows 10 update will cost you in 2018. Hold on. It's a little bit of a clickbaity title, but it's still true. Microsoft has announced that updates of Windows 10 in 2018 will no longer be free for, quote, unquote, accessibility users. There was no explanation given for this change in policy. So Windows 10, and this is from Tech Times, Windows 10, is starting to get more exclusive as each day goes by. And uh, the latest exclusivity is this, that Microsoft has rather quietly updated its website to reflect this change, revealing that those who are using accessibility features can no longer expect free Windows 10 upgrades after December 31st. And again, no explanation for Microsoft as to why they made this decision. Twitter apologized for block apologizes for blocking search terms. So the 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 mega giant social media micro blog platform Twitter apologized this Monday, November 6, 2017 after thousands of Twitter users complained about certain search terms being blocked. But the correction may not have been exactly what the Twitter first was looking for. Twitter said, we apologize for anyone negatively impacted by this bug. It is not consistent with our values as a company. And apparently they block terms like bisexual. Well, we we, we don't want that. I included, by the way, the song by Brenda Lee called I'm Sorry. And uh, let me just, uh, hopefully it'll work here. I'm just going to play a little bit here. There we go. Come on, Brenda. Come on. There it is. There it is. This is Twitter. Twitter's sorry. Twitter is very, very sorry. And there you go. Well, she's not going to sing, is she? There it is. There it is. And there you go. Twitter is sorry. (laughs) Amsterdam 3D printed steel bridges to have sensors. I I, actually, I should have titled this Amsterdam 3D. 3D printed steel bridges to have feels, F-E-E-L-Z. I should have done that. I missed the opportunity. I apologize. So the 3D printed steel bridge designed for Amsterdam will have sensors included in the bridge, 3D printed into the steel material that will allow the bridge to monitor its own uh, health. And this is from 3Dears.org. The sensor network was designed by a team of structural engineers, mathematicians, computer science, and statisticians from the Alan Turing Institute's Lloyd's Register Foundation Program. Wow. Alan Turing Institute's Lloyd's Register Foundation Program. Hi, I'm with the Alan Turing Institute's Lloyd's Register. Ah, Get out of here, man. Why don't you just say you're from Turing? Okay, that's good enough. Just say you're from Turing. Uh, so there you have it, a bridge with feels. Congratulations, Tori. DNA to be repurposed to become nanofactories. That's right. Soon you will have little nanofactories in your body. It's going to be awesome. Nanobots are realigning DNA strands to convert them into nanofactories. These nanofactories are able to more effectively deliver drugs and manage to, to manage the negative side effects from the drugs. So, from Science Daily, uh, so far researchers do not have tools at their disposal that would allow larger single-stranded sequences to automatically grow and then join each other end-to-end following a molecular design plan, a capability that could generate structures and devices with diverse capabilities. 
So past method, past method, me past methods produced identical copies of a fixed similar sequence, but they are unable to append different synthesized sequences to each other in defined patterns to generate larger assemblies autonomously without user mediated interven intervention. The autonomous and programmable features that PER cascades offer could engender an entirely new generation of programmable molecular devices and applications and close gaps in design efforts for which many moving parts already exist. And that was a quote by Weiss Institute core facility faculty member Peng Yin. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to have the nanofactories swimming in my body. I'm looking forward to it. The hard fork will have casualties. Get ready, folks. The hard fork will have casualties. The upcoming Bitcoin fork may see chains that produce low hash rates not survive the Segwit2x fork. From Bitcoin News, one of the biggest reasons for Segwit2's uncertainty is the amount of hash rate indicating support towards upgrading the block size to 2 megabytes. Right now, over 84.9% of the Bitcoin network's miners are, are signaling their intention to support Segwit2x. The question many people are asking is, what will happen to a minority network with very little hash rate and no emergency difficulty adjustment? And there are quite a bit of Bitcoiners that are enthralled by the drama between core supporters. Okay, who cares about that? Uh, but in essence, uh, you, you might see those change just simply left to die. That's, that's the big news item. Graphene will power the future of blockchain. Maybe. And I'm sure that I'll get some responses from folks like, Graphene is not going to do that, you know. Well, we'll see. But uh, a protocol called Graphene is allegedly capable of making blockchains 10 times more efficient than the current block propagation method called Compact Blocks. The claim was made at the Scaling Bitcoin Conference this past week at Stanford University. So the protocol called Graphene is a new method of reducing bandwidth to propagate blocks to full nodes by utilizing bloom filters and invertible bloom lookup tables. That makes perfect sense to me. I'm lying. So if you if this does make perfect sense to you, be sure to write us at uh, write me at pg at iState TV and and let me know what did I just read. Uh, it, it sounds exciting though. So Russia's war on drones that's that's exciting and and you kind of knew that this was well it was already happening. It's not it's not new news in and of itself. The Russian military has revealed ground based units that are intended to take down unmanned drones by hammering their signals. These mobile units are the first of their kind for Russia. That's drone jamming Russia style from military aerospace. Motherboard says in a report that Russian electronic warfare jammers have successfully downed drones in the past, but installing them on a mobile unit will be a first for Russia. The EW unit of the Western Military District is reportedly based in Kursk. The company is based on contract servicemen, sergeants, and officers, specialists for combating drones with the help of electronic warfare assets. It's safe to dance in New York. So don't call the cops. And if you're looking on the video, you can see I got a little men without hats safety dance. And it says now in New York City. That's that's because now it is safe. It is safe. You can now dance the night away in New York City at an establishment without any worry of cops showing up. This is thanks to rep the repeal of a law created in 1926. Yes, we are including a video of the safety dance for obvious reasons because it's now safe to dance in New York. And this is in honor of that draconian, uh, idiotic law being, being finally repealed. Hopefully you're hearing it. And you're not hearing it, are you? Okay, so you're not hearing it. I will fix this. I am going to do a, this show tomorrow. So this, this experiment is going to con continue. So tomorrow... We will, we'll, we'll do this again. We'll see if we can get the audio to actually show up. 23K genders for one species of fungus or 23,000 genders for one species of fungus. This is an incredible story that uh, I know a lot of folks are going to like this. A lot of folks are going to be triggered by this. There is a fungal species called Schizophyllum commune, which is a documented 23,000 plus different genders, or if you prefer, sexual identities. 
I don't know if they're identifying themselves sexually or not, but whatever. The differences are not as much sexual as they are within the genome of the species. So the sexes, this is from Discover Magazine. The sexes, and that's in quotes, the sexes don't really involve physical differences either, as we might think of when the word sex comes to mind. So we're, we're not talking vagine and ween, okay? The variations are all in the genome at two separate loci or locations, each of which has alleles or alternative forms. The loci are called A and B, and the alleles are termed alpha and beta. That makes four possible sexes, but there's another twist. Every A alpha, beta, and B alpha, beta can have many different variants called specificities. It amounts to more than 339 specificities for A and 64 per B for B. Putting those together yields thousands, 23,000 of possible unique sexes. Good job, fun guy. You know, way, way to go ahead and shatter narratives. That's great. See a preempt celeb media by posting nude photos first. I actually, I applaud this move by Sia. That's a good move here. So Sia discovered or didn't want to give the media any scoop on her nakedness. So when she discovered paparazzi had pictures of her nude, she decided to preempt the buzz by releasing nude photos herself. And then the, this is from Noisy, which is part of Vice. See his whole shtick during this most recent wave of her solar career has been, don't look at me, I'm under a wig. Well, okay, that's just snooty, Vice. That's just snooty. Whether performing or making other public appearances, it's, it's whatever, it's your choice. It's totally irrelevant to the story tool. Uh, so, uh... But recently, invasive photos of her were taken by paparazzi, and in her words, someone is apparently trying to sell naked photos of me to my fans. So she did what she had to do. She shared a photo of her of her bare arse on Twitter while also slipping in uh, a Kaz J, whatever that means, Kaz J plug for her Christmas album. See, it has a Christmas album. See, I did not know that. And that's it, folks. That is your iNews Digest of the day. I am Paul Gordon. Ystate.tv. This has been your iNews Digest for Tuesday, November 7th, 2017. And I want to make sure that if you like what you see and you're watching this on YouTube, be sure that you like, share, comment, and if you, you know, if you so deem it uh, 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 not too beneath you to subscribe to our channel and be sure you hit the bell so you know when we make our next video.